Okay, let's react to this video. I think I'm going to react to four of your videos, something like that. get closer to and you get here. the point and there are other songs that kind of like sexualize black women you know you often hear you often hear phrases like oh um, my chocolate bar or some crazy stuff like anything related to like sweetness or desserts or how someone's skin look people call you that and so for brown skin people especially like medium brown people it's no different for me i want to talk about today like medium brown people like brown people kind of again on the lighter spectrum of brown and brown skin privilege in general i feel like brown skin privilege is isn't often talked about some people do lump us together into light skin Some people also get offended if um, a brown skinned person who is lighter brown says that they're brown because they feel like that should be reserved for dark skinned black women. And I know a lot of people say all of these things are divisive, but at the same time, they exist. And it is how a lot of people identify. And so today, I just want to talk about, you know, what brown skin privilege is and how I. Um... No, dark skinned women, honestly, let's just be honest here. Dark-skinned women need to be honest, and they need to be happy, okay? They need to be happy with what they specifically are, okay? Like, you shouldn't be sad or feel like it's a slight or it's an insult to call yourself dark-skinned if that's what you truly are. If you truly are dark-skinned, then you're dark-skinned. There's nothing wrong with that. The moment you act like was, you, what you are is specifically something wrong, that's the moment you make yourself out to look like, you know, what you have is inferior, what you have is not as good. Because even if the person who has it doesn't want it, it devalues it. So, yeah, dark-skinned black women need to own up their dark-skinned identity, they don't need to be hiding behind the brown-skinned identity. Hey, you'll see that often in some regards, but let's go. Acknowledged in my life and how I deal with it. And so, basically, I read this article by Noya Laboratories, and it says brown skin is a term often used to define a certain category of skin tone. The term brown skin means that it looks naturally tan, and it is contrasted with pale skin that needs sunlight to look darker. It is moreover common to refer to brown skin with black and mixed race skin. Brown skin privilege is basically all the privileges that come from being that. Yeah, I think brown skin is basically, um, when you put brown skin next to white skin, or not white skin specifically, but if uh, you put on white socks and you put on black socks and you contrast both ways, you're brown skin, basically. Um, if you are specifically like the color of a paper bag or a couple shades lighter, you're brown skin. If you're like, for example, uh, on your foundation, you get tan foundations, then you're brown skin, basically. A lot of people have an idea of brown skin being a lot darker. They think it's interchangeable with dark skin, and that's because a lot of dark skin people aren't proud of calling themselves what they actually are which is dark skin. It, they turn the term into something negative and unwanted and undesirable when people should be using it as a prize and a badge of honor. You know, be proud of the skin you're born in. Anyway, continue. Okay.
skin complexion. Again, I would like to acknowledge that I am a lighter brown person, and that's the perspective that I'll be speaking about today. Everybody probably didn't experience my experience. I'm not talking for all brown skin people, but I do feel like a lot of brown skin people probably have experienced similar situations. And again, it's not something that's often talked about. And so the first time I really realized that um, I had brown skin privilege is when I was growing up, especially around darker skin women. Um, for instance, I had a cousin who was darker skin, and she often would come home crying because someone would be criticizing her skin tone. And um, it made me very empathetic. I never... Honestly, the way I was raised, I was always raised to, like, love my culture, love being black. And I had black dolls with, like, kinky hair, et cetera. Like, my grandpa. Yeah, I don't understand why make the assumption that dark-skinned black women had bad experiences regarding their skin tone, though. I would never make that assumption from for them. I would make the assumption when they behave a certain way towards me, okay? Like, when... They act like, for example, being out in Las Vegas, heat, summer, and all that stuff. Usually, if they see me in the uh, uh, winter and they have issues like this chick or whatever um, that she's depicting, they will try and act like you got gold when you are your natural color kind of like thing, like you're naturally, I guess, light in their opinion. Um, and you should kind of like cherish it. You should only be that color. You should not allow yourself to, you know, tan to browner, darker hues because they value other people's skin tone over their own, you know, because you're just conditioned to see it that way. Um, so, I mean, you know, to me, the way I feel about that is, I kind of just feel like those type of people need to have a situation where they can um, specifically, you know, not internalize negativity like that. But my thing is personally, like, I've never tried to feed into that, you know, I've never tried to be like, oh, I don't experience all these problems with my skin tone. I don't try to see myself as, you know, dealing with better. Because anyway, to me, it's like at the end of the day, anything that I've gotten because of racial situation, I don't really think has to do with skin tone. Because if we really think of it on an external level, people are not really determined by their race, by their skin tone, but really actually more so their facial features. So, yeah, I don't know. Continue. Parents are very proud. My, you know, being in Memphis, I felt very proud. But there was always this, like, colorism conversation. And when it came to being liked or desirable, the darker you were, often people wouldn't accept you. And so, again, my cousin, she would often be very saddened by people talking about her skin tone. And my cousin to me was very beautiful. She was very confident and dynamic. And me, on the other hand, I was very awkward and shy. And even though I did feel I was beautiful, I didn't, or I saw that I was beautiful, especially because people told me all the time, I didn't feel as confident as she was confident. Again, people may have said I was strange, but they never talked about, like, I'm ugly because of my skin complexion. And that was, again, something I realized was a privilege. Um, Even as as I grew up, and I wasn't very interested in boys. I was interested in my studies when I was a teenager. But if my friend said she liked a guy, he would often say that he was interested in me instead. And it could it could be reasons outside of my skin color, but there were times that men would vocally say, you know, you're too black. And oftentimes it would be as dark as my friends. And there would be times that my friends would get upset and they would say, every guy like likes you. It just made me realize a lot of times that I was considered a preference, especially over dark is that i don't understand people who do that it's like to me a low self-esteem situation you're willing to take the little crumbs of a self-hating dark-skinned black man to be pushed over a a dark-skinned black woman to feel better you know because you feel like i feel like it goes down to the features and things of that nature and 
biracials and stuff. This happens sometimes with brown-skinned women who have lower self-esteem. They basically go and are like, they feel dark-skinned women will get the brunt of the externalized self-hate that dark-skinned black men have, right? And so they're going to basically express that on dark-skinned black women, and they hope that they can be seen as a little bit better than uh, dark-skinned black women because they're not dark, but they're brown, you know, and they could basically be seen as kind of like a darker, light-skinned person, I guess you could say. It's just that when people are really deducing themselves to people like that. They're deducing themselves to even the dark-skinned black man who doesn't even want to be dark himself, obviously. Doesn't want his kids to look anything like him. He devalues his himself. He doesn't, he wouldn't be with a man like himself because he doesn't even like his own skin tone. If he was a woman, he wouldn't even choose himself. But you are hoping he chooses you. That sucks. Black women. There were other times where I would like be out in the sun and my friends would like take out an umbrella and you know I would like encourage them to not do that because you know I was very Af- I was very Afrocentric. I liked the idea of oh the sun gives you vitamin D whoop de whoop de whoop and they would often tell me well you know well I don't need to get blacker you can stand to get blacker but I can't get blacker and so as time went on I just realized that colorism plays a huge part in how we see ourselves and a lot of times how my friends feel maybe they're anger was displaced but that was just their experience and their defense mechanism and I learned to like deal with it and when to like speak up and just when to listen but again being brown skin I was able in a sense to just exist and I can also say that when it came to like white people they would often tell me that I had like perfect skin you know sometimes I said well what do you mean by that and they said well you're not too light you're not too dark you're the perfect tan you're just right and I thought that was very problematic but again I think it's like this sense of people like want like golden skin color. no it's very flattering in my opinion I, I don't see that as a problem I mean, it is, I guess you could say in the sense that it, it could be problematic, you know, how dark skin and light skin people will, you know, bleach and tan their skin to be your color. But it is flattering at the same time. But, you know, people need to love their own skin tone more than anything. And even when I feel like some white people who compliment, you know, tan or skin may love their own natural fair skin tone too. So, you know, one can see beauty in multiple skin tones, you know. Anyway, continue. Like generally speak, and when it comes to white people too, you know, sometimes when they tan, they don't get that color. They get usually red or it doesn't work out for them. And so me hearing white people say that too, I'm like, well, they also notice that there's various parts of skin tones or a range of blackness. A lot of times they will deny it. So anyway, it's from black and white people, but especially black people. I re- yeah, they may notice a difference, but they... Um still sometimes have a hard time telling a difference at the same time, like, for example, between black people. Like, if someone is the color of Halle Berry, but someone else is the color of Kelly Rowland, many of the time they will confuse the two people with each other. This makes sense, because, honestly, someone Halle Berry's color could tan almost to uh, Kelly Rowland's color, so who's to know? Maybe... You know, someone looks a little darker at one point or another because, you know. But, yeah, you see that all the time. But I don't notice white people only confusing dark-skinned people with other dark-skinned people. Continue. I realized that I had privilege with my skin tone. When I look back growing up, I've realized that a lot of the love interests in movies and films, even though majority were light-skinned or ambiguous, if you were brown-skinned, you could, like, maneuver into it, too.
when I think of like rappers even today or when I think of entertainers like Megan Thee Stallion or Young Miami I think of them being brown skin and how it kind of created a space for them because I do think majority of the rappers today are like lighter skin mixed women but Megan Thee Stallion and Young Miami they were like in the middle not to say that they weren't talented but I think that gives them some level of protection there have been arguments that JT wouldn't have been successful without Young Miami skin privilege or brown skin privilege and I think there is some truth to that not to say that JT isn't talented because she writes her music etc but we've seen like equally or more talented dark skinned black women who don't get the amount of shine that she does or they do and when you think of people like Megan Good and Jada Pinkett Smith, Halle Berry even all of them were brown skinned and again you know when you look at them you know that they're black women but they had you know brown skin privilege. I once had a conversation with my friend and I don't think Young Miami or Jay-Z are brown skin. I think they're dark skin, but okay. Continue. And I was like kind of upset because someone had said I was light skin and I had light skin privilege. I was like maybe in my early 20s and I just didn't believe I was light skin. I still don't believe I'm light skin. But anyways, uh, I told my friend and she said, well, you know, you're not light skin. You don't have light skin privilege, but you do have safe skin. And that phrase, it kind of blew my mind because I did know I was brown skin, but I never understood the complexities of it. But when I started to like study and try to understand my position as a brown skinned woman, I did realize that I did, I was pretty safe generally. Like I still faced a lot of the dynamics of what most black women face, but not at the level that a darker skinned black woman would. That, I guess, in its entirety is how I viewed brown skin privilege. I do like being brown skin. I feel like it's just a part of who I am. I know my skin can get lighter, it can get darker, but I just feel like it's a part of me being black in general. And though a lot of people do objectify me and say they like my features, I always just try to shine for my personality more so. I think, again, that's a part of my key point. And so I'll just read it again, What, um, how I benefit from brown skin privilege. And so so, number one, I'm not ridiculed for my skin tone generally amongst black people. Number two, I do have the... Why? I don't understand why you would assume all dark-skinned black women are ridiculed for their skin tone. I just don't get that. Because to me, it's like, oh, look, I have it better. Nobody's attacking me for my skin tone. But didn't you just assume... Uh, ignorantly honestly why'd you assume ignorantly and assume that all dark-skinned black women have been taught that their skin tone was inferior maybe what you were told personally was for you and not for dark-skinned women you know what i mean like any positivity that you had being a brown-skinned woman told you know you have a nice skin color or whatever you're not being attacked for it or they love your tan and so forth or you're um you look good with lighter hair colors or whatever you know um that was what they were telling you that doesn't mean they were telling dark-skinned women they look bad you know it did it wasn't specifically saying that dark-skinned black women have unattractive skin tone you know Making that assumption is that assumption that you negatively feel towards dark skin. And why do you have that assumption that dark skinned women weren't taught they were pretty? Because from my perspective and my experience, I have experienced a lot of the time where they do seem like they um, are definitely validated in their beauty. So it's kind of like weird to me when people say that everybody's out there attacking dark skinned women. But I think many of the time, nobody even notices the difference between dark skinned women and light skinned women. People notice more of uh, cranial structure, I think, hair texture, things like that. But not really, I don't really feel skin tone. Anyway, continue benefit to be perceived as human and or feminine. Number three, I am viewed as a preference oftentimes. Number four, I am able to maneuver into spaces with ease because of my brown skin. So while this...
saying that someone's perceived as human or feminine is just weird. So you don't view dark-skinned women as feminine? You don't view them as human? That That is very insulting to dark-skinned women. Like, I've never actually, honestly, being completely honest about the feminine side, um, I've never seen a dark-skinned woman being called a man. Uh, more masculinized in any regard. Usually, when a black woman is being called a man, some people will try to make her dark skin because they don't want her to be brown skin because it's, I guess, embarrassing to them that a brown skin woman is being called those things. But um, people like Megan Z. Stallion, clearly, um, they've tried to masculinize her non-stop, um, people like Ciara, um, people like, for example, uh, Brianna and Nicki Minaj early on were, um, uh, masculinized heavily in their heyday. Um, so to me, I mean, like, I just kind of find it very weird that you say that brown-skinned women are feminized. It's like, You're creating this idea, but I don't really think, when we look at the actual um, way that brown skin celebrities have been treated, it's not really true, you know. And honestly, I'll say this, I think many of the negative uh, attention for these women, as far as masculinizing them, was generally from uh, black women. I don't really feel, I I don't mean just black women, I mean plenty of other people too, but I think black women, especially dark, medium, light, you know, went after women like Megan C. Stallion, uh, Ciara, you still hear people will attack Ciara and say she still looks like a man to them. They used to really go after Nicki Minaj and so forth. Um, I still have a, um, thread where I believe a black woman made about her saying that Nicki Minaj was transgender. This was back before she had her baby. Um, So, I mean, I'm just saying that these people have been attacking and masculinizing these women who are brown skinned. And this has been going on since at least 2010 from what I can remember. So it's kind of like, um, what dark-skinned women were called transgender? I don't, I, I've never heard of any that were masculinized. I feel like dark-skinned black women are seen kind of like as the true versions of black womanhood and they are given their respect usually and they're validified, you know, as black women more than any other type of woman because they're the standard. They're seen as a standard. They're seen as the original image of black women. When they're not, they're just one type of black woman, in my opinion. But, yeah, being viewed as a preference, like I said, only people who see that as a good thing are people who have low self-esteem. They want to be preferred by people who don't even like themselves and wouldn't even prefer themselves if they... um, had to choose a man to be with. If they were a woman and they had to choose a man to be with, they wouldn't be with men like themselves. So why would you want to be with them? You know, it's a low self-esteem symptom. Um, And I don't know what she's saying with can maneuver into spaces with ease. I mean, that's more of a personality trait, but okay. Number three, I am viewed as a preference oftentimes. Number four, I am able to maneuver into spaces with ease because of my brown skin. So while this list may seem short, it is a bit significant as a black woman in my opinion. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this topic. Let me know if you agree or if you disagree, if you've ever heard the term brown skin privilege or safe skin. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for I think the idea that someone thinks of skin as safe is was so sad to me that you think that skin tone 
depending on how dark you are, is unsafe and it's a bad thing to be dark. That is a sad case. It's sad to think that, you know, you need to be light enough, basically. This is the same mentality of how some brown-skinned women get made fun of for um, saying that, like, the brown-skinned women um, avoid the sun or are trying to avoid the sun to not get as dark as dark-skinned women because everyone knows dark, I mean, brown-skinned women, we can tan very heavily. Um, but these are the jokes that people make on brown-skinned women because of comments like this saying like safe skin and stuff and saying like you don't want to be dark skin because dark skin is somehow something bad or you know is inferior or you're going to be treated less than and I don't know to me it's very weird to me because it's like you know your experience as a brown skinned woman and for me personally as someone who I will give reference my skin tone can get as light as Rihanna's technically a little bit lighter because my body's color like if um if I was like um into like more provocative stuff people would see that I specifically my body is specifically like a shade darker than Cardi B so my skin has been from around a little darker than Cardi B to as dark I would say as Maybe like two shades darker than Beyonce, or I'll say Angela, not Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett is a little too, maybe Nia Long's color, or maybe a little bit darker than that. I don't know. Um, but my a skin tone can get kind of like a deepish brown. Uh, and in all my experience, I've never experienced being treated differently. Never understand. From the brown skin perspective, if you really are brown skin, your skin tans and it ranges. This is why we have the whole meme. We rep we represent light skin in the winter, we represent brown skin in the fall and in the spring, and in the summer we represent dark skin. So if we represent all these colors, then wouldn't we have a situation where specifically we would be you know, noticing that we're experiencing mistreatment when we tan and we would get all the glory in the winter. I mean, where is my light skin privilege in the winter? I always ask that, where's the light skin privilege in the winter? If there is light skin privilege, shouldn't we have privilege in the winter when we lose a complete tan? You know, um, so that's all I have to say in this video. It's just like, you know, I think that, you know, brown skin people, many of the time when we want to believe that there's a privilege, um, I feel it's probably because you don't really feel that there's really much to go off of. So you need to feel better than one person, even if it's just one person. You need to basically feel like you have some consolation prize, you know. And you want to basically give yourself solace that you're not as dark as another person. Or that there's somehow some kind of privilege. When everything is telling you that that's not the case because you don't get treated differently depending on your skin tone. Life is the same. You're going to be treated whatever race people perceive you to be as regardless of the color you are in most cases you know so that's all i have to say in this video thanks for watching everyone like and subscribe comment down below and have a great day bye guys